Hello there, uh, my name is Alex, hey, and today we're going to look at my current video game collection. Today's date is February 18th, 2017, and uh, yeah, uh, this is like a sequel video, I guess, to uh, a previous video I made from uh, 2015, where I showed my game collection, and uh, here's an update video. As you can see, it's gone bigger. For example, NES, well, it's still in the same place, but um, um, when, in the last video it went up to like here, and now it's all the way down there. And I've ordered some games in the mail, so it's going to be a little more there. Um, but yeah, I'm here to just take you through my uh, NES you know, collection and uh, other games too. I mean, I focused on NES uh, on the previous video a lot, so we'll go through it very quickly. And stuff like my kids I got. Uh, these like Mission Impossible. Um, yeah, TNC Surf Designs. Uh, Pyramids, another one I got. Uh, all good things, all good things. Some good games, some bad games. Some really bad games. Some really good games. And, uh,. Yeah, not not a lot to talk about, but um, there is something kind of cool. So uh, he, here's a 720 cart, and then next to it is a gyromite cartridge. Uh, I already have gyromite over here, so what's this? This is a multi-cart, a Famicom multi-cart that I put um, on an NES using a special adapter in certain NES cartridges. Um, the original Famicom cartridge looked like that, and I had to break it in order to make this. But this can now play on an NES. The adapter was like $30 or something like that. The Famicom game was like 5 or 10 or something like that. So, yeah. It has a, has a lot of games on there. A lot of rare games. And uh, it's all around really cool. I should probably make a label for it. I don't think that will ever happen though. Uh, here's 31 Game in 1. Like a Canada multi-card. That also works on North American systems. Good, you know. And uh, yeah, a, a, a lot of games. I think I mentioned in uh, my last video that I have all the baseball games for NES, which is true even still today. But another thing I also mentioned, or kind of joked about, was I said that you know maybe someday I'll have so many games there that I'll need to push all the shelves and all that stuff, or I'll maybe run out of space. That's exactly what happened. Um, yeah, I pushed things, moved things aside, reshuffled stuff. The Super NES collection used to be there and there, but then I took that part and moved it there. Um, well, that was good, I guess. Moved new things in here. Got some cases, some books, Game Genie, uh, some zappers, all that stuff. N64 collection down there. Oh, and that's kind of interesting. Um, if you take a look over here, uh, I'll explain this. This is a little shelf thing to hold Game Boy and uh, Game Boy Color as well as Game Boy Advance. I don't have a lot of games though there. I mean, as you can tell, the NES is like the biggest thing in my collection, the thing I'm most proud of. There's like a poster I need to hang up, a dead Wii, uh, and that's a Wii U box. And over here is something kind of interesting. Okay, here's a poster, I guess. Stuff. Ooh, good games. Uh, here, this is interesting because I bought this. Um, quite a while ago, but it's still cool. This is full set N, um, N64 labels. The N64 does not have N labels on the ends of the cartridges, which is pretty lame. But they, uh, I mean, not Nintendo, but someone else made all these labels of all the games on the N64. So you can put labels on them. And uh, so you don't have to like individually check each game to see what it is. Um, yeah, I mean, Mario Kart 64, all, all this stuff. I need to get more N64 games. I ordered some more in the mail. Um, but there you go. The labels look pretty good. They look pretty good. And um, I chose, like, a white background. Some of them are good. Some of them aren't so good. You know, like, um, Toy Story 2 over there was okay. Um, yeah, Wave Racer 64 is pretty good. But then you get, like, Super Mario 64, which doesn't really look all that good. Whatever. That's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, costs like twenty dollars on eBay. You, you can get it. Yeah, 
And then, yeah, just a bunch of stuff. Amiibos I got for Christmas 2015 uh, box. I found this DVD holder here um, under a TV. So I decided to use it to store my GameCube and Wii games. Interesting. Um, oh, this is interesting. Okay, this I used to open NES cartridges. It's like a 3.8 millimeter um, like screw thing. And here's just a tiny screwdriver thing to open the five screw ones. Interesting. But more on that later. Zapper stuff, more accessories, two NES advantages. There's the Wii U games. You get more of those. DS and 3DS, Atari 2600, some consoles, uh, it's NES and 64, 3DS, and a GameCube, that's a black Wii down there. Air, uh, oh man, you can barely see it. Oops, shouldn't have done that. Super NES, Atari 2600. Here's a Game Boy Advance in a special little case. Put that over there. There's a trash can. Ooh. Trash bags. A box. I'll show you that later. Um, oh, but um, something interesting though is uh, okay, this is my desk. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, this wasn't here before, but I now moved it here so that way I can like sit on the couch and go on my laptop. Pretty good and live in the live in the high life, you know. Lots of PC games too. Oof. Oh, and this I'll show you that a little later, but um okay. Uh, I I'll I'll teach I'll tell you about this before I talk about that. This over here is NES duplicates and games I already have in my collection. Hey, you, you hear that? I hear that too. Um, just like games, I have you know. Um, more, I have a copy over there in much better condition over there, and then this I just use for spare parts. Like these games may work, but I don't know. The labels aren't good. You know, something, something about them is off. The cartridges suck. You know, just like things. Eh, they're not very good. Like you know, even if a game is not in all that great condition, I still put it in the collection. But if it's in like horrible or not just not good condition. I just put it here, you know. Use it for spare parts so I can make, you know, better looking games over there. Yep. Just, just stuff. You know, you you may think it's kinda rude or something like that just to treat these cartridges so poorly, but I gotta be honest, if like I was a collector I mean I'm a collector I guess. If I was on eBay and I saw all these games in a lot or whatever, and um, I would just skip past them, even if I didn't own them, because these games look pretty terrible sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is broken. This is, looks like crap. Yep, and that's that. That's the... The box of lame games, you know, broken spare parts games. Pretty sad, but I guess that had to happen sometime. Okay, <laughs> so uh, we're here. Well, I'm going to talk to you about this, which ties into that, which ties into that Sharpie right there. Oof. Okay. Alrighty. Now you can stop the scene black. Alright, so um, here is bags. That's obvious to tell. And in each of these bags, I store like the power adapters and all that cord stuff like that. And I've sorted it all. Before, it used to be a big mess, and I cleaned it all um, not too long ago, like a less than a day ago for this video. And uh, yeah, here we have a Atari 2600, NES, and a Super NES, N64. Like, and you're like, okay, you open this up, and there's all the stuff, like the cords needed for N64 right there in that one bag. And when I'm done, seal up the bag. Uh, GameCube, there's Wii, Wii U. I mean, I I have a Wii U, but it's upstairs with all the cords up there, so... And here we have tiny little things. AV cables, which, yeah, these are just normal AV cables. Um, I think it's like mail to mail is what they call it. Stupid name. Uh, and there's a lot, so... We won't run out of these things anytime soon. There's 3DS. That's that metal thing you see inside NES's that I took out for no reason. Oh, and here's something interesting. Something I got for my birthday. Uh, yeah, my birthday's actually soon. I should have mentioned that. This is a GameCube uh, adapter for the Wii U and for the PC. So you just plug that thing in 
And uh, yeah, you can just use your uh, GameCube controller for the Wii U. Pretty interesting. That's actually that's actually a really good good idea. So yeah, neat and organized. That's how I like it. And over here, oh man, using one hand is not helping. Okay. All right, here here we have it. This is this is the good stuff. All the controllers, you know, all that good stuff. We have we. I mean, I have all the all the controllers. You know, N sixty four. You got NES, GameCube. All, all the good stuff. Just just all the good stuff. All the good stuff. Yep. And um I mean I have a lot of consoles, I guess. Oh I I put this thing right here. Neat hook, you know. Yeah, uh, I have a lot of consoles. I mean I have all the Nintendo consoles. I mean uh, NES N sixty four all that stuff. You know I don't I'm a Nintendo fanboy. I don't really like venture outside of Nintendo with the exception of the 2600 because I just really like it. I don't do PlayStation or uh, any of the Xbox stuff. Not really. Not, that doesn't really interest me. I just love anything Nintendo. <sighs> yep. It's got some good stuff. Some DVDs over there. Ooh. A VHS. That's pretty much broken. Uh, there's the Game Boy uh, in a special case, I guess. Um, some more stuff. Tiny stuff, you know, all good things, and uh, yeah, I hope, uh, I really hope I can get my collection even bigger. Any predictions? Uh, I think I'm gonna, my NES collection is gonna go to there, but uh, hey, who knows? We'll see what happens in 2018. Thank you guys for watching.